from melanocyte to melanoma. Melanocytes are cells that produce melanin, a brown-black pigment that determines the color of the skin, hair, and eyes in humans, and helps to guard against the damaging effects of the sun. In the skin, melanocytes are located at the epidermal-dermal junction, appearing as round cell bodies with long, irregular branches called dendrites. The formation of melanin pigment occurs inside the cell body, in an organelle called the melanosome. Next, the melanosome is transported by microtubules toward the surface of the melanocyte to neighboring skin cells called the keratinocytes. Melanosomes are then released into the interior of a keratinocyte, where they collect over the nucleus, protecting the nuclei of these dividing cells from the damaging effects of the sun. Malignant melanoma is one of the deadliest forms of skin cancer. Its risk factors include both a genetic predisposition as well as exposure to the sun's UV radiation. When UV radiation is absorbed by DNA in melanocytes, it may cause damage to the DNA, increasing the risk of melanoma. When UV radiation strikes the melanocyte's DNA, chemical changes may occur, which include the opening of bonds and reforming new bonds, creating errors in the cell's DNA. These newly formed bonds are biochemical errors and distortions that must be repaired so the natural helix structure of the DNA is restored and can function properly. Normally, cells are able to scan, identify and repair this kind of DNA damage caused by UV radiation. If UV-related damage is not corrected by molecular repair mechanisms, DNA mutations can be introduced and the genetic information may be permanently damaged. Genetic mutations in melanocytes are associated with progressive cellular changes that may result in invasive malignancy. The transition from a normal melanocyte to metastatic melanoma may involve several intermediate steps, including atypical dysplastic nevus of varying stages of severity, or melanoma in situ, and invasive melanoma. Indeed, melanomas diagnosed and treated during the radial growth phase have been shown to have an excellent prognosis. Currently, there is no cure for late-stage melanoma. As a result, early detection plays a critical role in reducing melanoma morbidity and mortality. New diagnostic tools to complement the visual examination of lesions especially early-stage melanoma and borderline lesions, and those that lack the classic appearance of melanoma, could significantly enhance the detection process. 